Well, somebody brought up something that was a really important thing the other day, and that was milk. And you guys were asking, can I have milk in my diet? I asked Kim at one point about milk and if it was going to be possible um, to stay on our calories and actually lose weight like we're doing right now and to be able to drink milk. There are so many studies out there that show that if you have just three eight-ounce glasses of milk a day, it's not only going to help you lose weight, but it's also going to help you lose fat. You can have non-fat milk, you can have the 2%. If you have the 2%, you know, you just have to allow for the extra calories. There's only about 40 more calories in the 2% milk than there is in the skim milk. Our guest today is best known as the resident nutritionist on the hit TV series, The Biggest Loser. She's here today to dispel some of the myths surrounding weight loss and to share some of the show's secrets on how these contestants lost hundreds of pounds safely. Please welcome Cheryl Forberg. Cheryl, it's great to have you with us today on Sidewalks. Good morning, thanks for having me, Cindy. So how did you get involved with The Biggest Loser? Well, I was uh, working in LA. Um, I was a research dietitian at Cedar sinai and uh, doing some research projects at UCLA, and one of my colleagues there introduced me to the physician of the show, who invited me to be a part of the medical expert team. What an awesome opportunity that is. <laughs> Absolutely, it's the greatest job ever. Was there a common thing amongst the contestants in terms of uh, what might have precipitated their weight gain? Absolutely. Um, a lot of them didn't eat breakfast. They had, uh, uh, they waited too long in between meals. They overate, didn't eat too many fruits and vegetables. So it made it very easy to develop a plan that uh, I wrote about in the calorie counter and create five tips for successful weight loss. Would you Tell like to know what they are? Oh, absolutely. The first one is you must have breakfast every day. You start out with something as simple as a bowl of whole grain cereal with fat-free milk and a little fruit. The second point is that you must have fruit or vegetables with every meal. Thirdly, you must have protein with every meal or snack. And this could be, uh, this is lean protein such as chicken or turkey, a vegetable protein such as edamame or lentils, or milk or milk products. The fourth point is that you must exercise. You have to keep moving. You have to burn off more calories than you're taking in. And the fifth point is that you have to plan ahead. You have to plan your exercise, your snacks, and your meals. So calorie counting is important, but exercise is another part of the equation. What are some of the myths about weight loss that we should know about? Well, one of the ones that I like to talk about, a lot of people think that you need to cut out milk or uh, cheese, and this just isn't true. Um, we love to include milk or mil and milk products as a part of a successful weight loss plan on the ranch. And one of the things that we do is called 2424. Uh, we try to recommend having 24 ounces of milk in every 24 hours, which could equate to something as simple as three fat-free glasses of milk. Uh, you know, as a dietitian and a chef, you're in a very unique position to create recipes that are healthy as well as delicious. What are some simple techniques that folks can use to sort of modify existing recipes that might not be so health conscious? Well, one of the things is um, using cooking techniques where they won't have to add um, ex additional fat. So if you bake, broil, or grill, um, or poach your chicken or fish, you wouldn't be adding extra fat, which adds a lot of calories. And the same holds true um, with vegetables that you might want to, grilling them is really popular now, um, steaming them, but you want to really watch out for the added fat because the calories really add up that way. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we like to recommend is maybe having um, a glass of milk before a meal because it gives you that feeling of satiety. It has the protein, a little carbohydrate, lots of calcium, um, but then you're, you, you're not as hungry and you might not eat as much. Sure. Now, does what you eat really affect whether you look younger or older? I've, I've always heard that. My mother always told me that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I do. I also write a lot about anti-aging nutrition and the food choices that you make that can speed up or slow down the aging process. And the foods that I recommend to slow down the aging process are exactly the same foods that I recommend to the contestants at the ranch to lose weight. And that's because um, the a variety of fruits and vegetables help strengthen your immune system and keep you healthy and strong. Um, and the whole grains have a variety of different vitamins and minerals 
minerals as well. And uh, the lean proteins, such as milk, um, are a great source of calcium, which most Americans simply aren't getting enough of. And if they had three glasses of milk a day, they'd meet their need right there. The 2006 season winner of The Biggest Loser was, of course, Eric. Yes. And who lost over 200 pounds. That Phenomenal. is just amazing. It was what were some of the strategies that you used with him to help him succeed? Well, I didn't, um, I didn't spend a lot of time at the ranch. One of the things that I do is uh, I monitor their food journals every day. Every one of the contestants uh, completes food journals every day, which is really a successful tip in itself. Um, and so I would monitor those journals and go over them with the doctors and the trainers, and we could keep him on track to be sure that he was getting a nice balance of all of these foods. Now, why do you suppose that, you know, there's been so much uh, press recently about young people and obesity. Why do you suppose this has just exploded in terms of, of young people being overweight? I think um, a, a really big part of it is that they're not exercising enough. They're not burning off more calories than they're taking in. And um, I think that they're eating uh, too many fast foods and too many soft drinks instead of having um, a lot of the foods that we have here replacing, um, you know, having a glass of milk instead of um, a sugary soft drink or fruit juice would be a perfect right. substitution to make. And um, having uh, a lot of more whole grains and vegetables and fruit instead of fast foods is another thing that they need to be focusing on. Right. As we close, tell us why you're so passionate about helping overweight people to get healthy. Well, I just think, it, you know, it's been so incredibly gratifying. This is something I love talking about. I'm just passionate about um, uh, the foods that I recommend because I know, I know that it works, and it's just incredibly gratifying to see the results. Cheryl, it was a pleasure having you with us today on Sidewalks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for having me.